Hi, and welcome to The Business of Being a Virtual Assistant. I'm your host, Tiffany Parson, and you're watching and listening to episode number 212. All right. It is March when a whole new month. I missed you guys last week. I'm excited to be back this week. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about three things your potential clients need to know before they hire you as their virtual assistant. And this week, I want to talk about um, what's an idea that an idea I had to let go of in order to grow my business. I saw this question and I thought this will be fantastic to answer on the podcast, but it's probably because it's probably something that you're dealing with as well. And the idea that I had to let go of in order to grow my virtual assistant business was that everyone was a potential client. Everyone is not your client. This is an idea that I had to let go of because when I first started, I could look at anybody that was, that had an idea, that had a business and see how a virtual assistant would work for them and see how me as their virtual assistant could work for them. However, I quickly learned everybody's not my client and you don't want to work with everybody. Now, there are a number of reasons why we don't wanna work with everybody. And I'll give you uh, the answer that you may have uh, be more familiar with is that if you don't know who you're talking to, then you don't know who to focus your attention on. Um, In other words, who's your target audience? If you don't have a target, then there's no target at all. Uh, That is very true. So we have to know who we're talking to. However, within that, everyone that comes through the doors, even if we do our targeting, is not our client. As much as we would love to work with everybody, we cannot. Everybody's not ready to work with us. And we know from the previous episode, the things that they need to know before they can even work with us. Um, But let's talk about some things on our side that um, let us know this is an idea that we have to let go of, right? First off, the way you work is different from anyone else. The way your client works is different from anyone else. The two of you have to form a partnership in order to work together. And if the way you work and the way your client works are totally different, it's not a match. So that's one thing. Uh, How your client communicates, how you communicate and how your client communicates is a huge indicator as to how well you will be able to work with them. We depend on them to give us information about their business, what they need, and we need that information to be clear. And if they are not able to communicate it to us in a way that we understand, even after we ask all the questions that we have, then it just makes it very hard. And so that means they're not a right fit for us. And all of this kind of happens in our discovery calls. Uh, I like the name discovery call because you're discovering about them and they're discovering about you. Everybody's not your client. You could probably, especially in a setting where it's like a networking, you could probably eliminate some people just in general conversation, in meeting people and knowing right away whether they are ready for you or not. Uh, When I learn about someone, I don't always put my business out there and let people know what I do because I'm listening to see if this person uh, is ready for a virtual assistant, if this person can grasp the concept, and is it possible that this person, if it's not them, they may know someone. So I don't assume that everyone is the person that I need to be uh, sharing in detail about my business. Obviously, uh, you can let them know, uh, oh, I own a virtual assistant business, and if they have questions, go from there. But I mean, as far as setting up a time to talk and things like that. 
get to know them a little bit just to find out uh, what some indicators are. If they're like, oh my gosh, we have been working with our social media and we are having the hardest time. Um, it's just too much. We need some help. They know exactly what they want and they understand that they need help. Now, if they're like, yes, we need help, but we're not in a position to pay anyone to do this, or I'm looking for someone real cheap, then I know run that person is not for me, right? So this was just a huge idea that I had to let go of in order to grow. It's just on everybody. It's not, it's not my person. If someone's just getting started, they're still trying to identify who they are as a business, what they want to provide as a business. For me, I don't like to work with people that are just getting started in their business because they're still trying to figure out what they're selling, who they're selling it to. And for the services that my company offers, we need details. You can't be in the process of getting details and work with us because we'll, we'll be a, a forever standstill until you get the details to us. So it's best for us not to even jump in uh, before you know those details. Now, how did I know that? How did I figure out this experience? Actually having this happen, being frustrated and realizing, okay, this is not gonna work. Um, this is not a good fit. I shouldn't have even jumped into a conversation. This was a total, you know, I won't say a total waste of time because in every situation where you learn, and just like I know the list of uh, people that won't be a good fit, I learned it because of the time spent with those people. Um, you may be finding the same thing. If you're just getting started, um, you're just doing discovery sessions or you've been doing them for a while, take an assessment of the ones that, didn't work out, it did not pan out, it ended up not being a client, was it because these are some things that you're gonna have to let go in order to grow your business? These are some things that need to be filtered out in advance so that you won't continue to spin your wheels on the same thing and you know this, you know, these, these folks aren't ready for me. So anyway, that is that. That's the one big idea I had to let go of in order to grow my business. And that's everyone is not my, my client. Um, I also have learned in the process of knowing everyone's not my client is that uh, friends and family aren't my client either. If you're in a situation and they're like, oh, just start with your friends and family. For me, run, run. In fact, not only is it not friends and family, but for the longest time, it wasn't even local clients. Local clients were not my clients either because local clients want you to come into their office. If they want to have a meeting with you, they want you to come in. If we are talking about their website, they want you to come in. And for me, being a virtual assistant, heavy on the virtual, I wanted to be in my office and we meet that way. But even to this day, I still experience local people want you to come in. So I learned they are not my people and it's all good. So I encourage you guys, find your right people, let go of the things that you need to let go of in order to grow your business. All right, that's it for this episode. You guys have a great day, a productive weekend, and I will see you next time.